Good evening, everyone. Welcome to this, the online prayers for the Nottingham Derby district on this, the 9th of November, 2023. I'm Tim Annan. Uh, I'm the PA to Andy Farmer, the chair of the Nottingham Derby district. And I'd like to welcome you to this, the online prayers. Um, little insight into how I normally do prayers. Um, so when I normally do prayers for this, uh, I normally spend a little time during the day Go through the Bible readings for the day from the prayer handbook. Um, pray about it a little bit, read around, think what's on my mind, and then put something together on a Word document that's right normally on this screen in front of me. And I'm going to read off that. Um, so I have a script and an order, and I follow it through and get it all done, recorded, and uploaded, ready for you all to watch at seven. Um, today, I haven't done that, um, partly because. I have no idea what to pray about. It's Remembrance Sunday this weekend, uh, and as a district, there we're actually putting out some content uh, around Remembrance Sunday uh, and Armistice Sunday. Uh, there's stuff from the connection that's readily available, and I'd highly encourage you all to go and find that. And also, it's, right now, we all know what we're thinking about and praying about. We're thinking about the um, Israel-Palestine-Gaza conflict, uh, we're praying about the ongoing conflicts in Ukraine and various other things that we're all thinking and praying about. And I don't know how to speak into that or how to meditate and pray about that when everyone else is doing that so wonderfully well and continues to do that. So what I'm going to do today is on the drive back from work, <laughs> um, drive back from the office, I have about, you know, an hour's drive. So every now and then I have a bit of an idea of what I'm going to talk about or listen to something and think about something. And the one thing that keeps coming back to me is this idea of tradition. And actually is inspired by a TV show called Ugly Delicious, which is on Netflix, if you can watch it. Uh, it's a food programme, which looks into a little bit about the history of the food, the culture around it, and the looking at maybe the history of it, but also what it looks like now. So they look a little bit at uh, the impact of Lebanese and uh, Lebanese, Israeli, Palestinian cuisine uh, in things like Mexico and in China and the impact of that food as it's gone out around the world. Um, and as part of that, they keep coming back to this idea within the show uh, of cooking and food reflects really well the snapshot of history. The idea that tradition does change and the impact of meeting different cultures and embracing different cultures and merging of these cultures, not into a fusion, because that just sounds like it's, you know, you've got two cars and you're ramming them together and that's a new car. No, it's, it's the idea of acknowledging the history of something and bringing it into what you're doing or willing to be changed by it, into creating a new tradition, something that goes forward. It's the modern day equivalent uh, of the ship of Theseus. You know, you change the plank, you know, one plank every now and then. And after, you know, you change all the planks, is it still the same ship? Or for those that do know, it's more like Trigger's broom. You know, Trigger changed all the heads and all the handles so many times. But is it the same broom? Yes, because I've got the broom in front of me. And I'm just thinking about that in the terms of the church, like right now. Every now and then you hear about new ways of doing church and what the church is going to look like 20 years from now. Or we look back and go, oh, it was brilliant 15, 20, 30, 40, 50 years ago. And we always hear the idea, oh, church is in decline, it's not going to be around, and I think it will be. And not because, you know, I like to be employed by a church or preaching in a church or surrounded by a community of faith. No, I, I think that right now we're seeing a snapshot of churches. We look at this snapshot now, we look at our own local churches and the work they're doing, the people they're reaching, and we look back and we go, oh, we did some really good stuff back then, and 
you know, these things happened, these things changed and, you know, numbers went down, we did this and that's clearly the reason why people left. But I don't think that's entirely accurate to say that. I think if you go back to, say, 1932, because that's when um, uh, the two main branches of Methodists in the UK, the Primitives and the Wesleyans, formed together into the now Methodist Church of Great Britain. There were people at the time who were gone, nah, this joining at Malarkey is not going to work. It's going to change completely how we do church, how we do theology, and the church is going to decline and fall, and we're not going to be around. Or it's going to have what we have now, where the church has been adapting and changing to changes in society, changes in culture, changes in people, just as every other civilization has done, just as every other organization has done, just as food has done. And I think that going forward is the kind of thing that we're going to see embracing more. And I hope that we're embracing more. This idea that we have this open heart, that we are willing to be changed by the people we see around us and the people that come into our church doors. Or even that we are willing to go out and be changed by the people we encounter on the street. That the new church project that you're planning to do, that it's you're not doing it for the people, you're doing it with people and that that will change you and the church for the better. The same way that I've had too many conversations with people about how online church is either the best thing ever or the worst thing ever. That people aren't coming to physical church because they're coming online and oh, that's not good. Yet we're engaging right now. You're watching this video you are engaging in prayer in a prayer in a time of prayer and contemplation which you can do at any time god is not just physically present in a single place at a single time god is present always in whatever we are doing and sometimes we need to take that moment to look and think take that snapshot of where we are just as the ship of theseus was a snapshot of where that is at that time and it's still there and it's still going to be the ship of Theseus in years time i see the methodist church now as a snapshot of tradition we look we in like 10 15 years time we're going to look back at where we are now and we're going to say this is probably it was a much better time we have this we have that you know we endured hardships because of covid and here we are now there's going to be people in 10, 15 years' time looking back and going, oh, it was so much better. Just as there are people now looking back and going, oh, it was so much better 30 years ago. Just as there was people 30 years ago saying, oh, it was much better 30 years before that. We're going to be changed by tradition, and our tradition is going to change. We're still going to call it tradition, and that's good. We just have to go into this with the open-heartedness that we sometimes forget we have to be willing to go into situations which we're going to find uncomfortable we have to be willing to go into situations where we don't have the answers and we don't know what's best we have to be willing to go into situations and go with a heart and mind that we're going to learn something new and that we're going to encounter god in these spaces That's my prayer, my reflection, my contemplation, whatever you want to call it, for today, and this has been on my mind. I feel that going forward, there's going to be conversations about this anyway, and then that's, you should actively have these conversations with people in your church. But if I was going to give you any homework, not that I'm giving you homework, I want you to go away and just sit five, ten minutes, whenever. And think about what the snapshot of your faith is right now. What's the snapshot of your church right now? Sit, pray, think about that. And then ask yourself, 
what is the tradition that's going to go forward from this place, from this church, from this time? What's the my tradition and faith going to be going forward? Because it's going to change, and that's good. It's going to be different. If we didn't change, it'd be weird. The thing is going to change, and that's great. But what are we going to shape that into based on our influences? Amen. Thank you for joining this weird contemplation, reflection, whatever you want to call it, prayer. We um, really appreciate you all being here. Um, we'll be back next week. Look forward to seeing you all then. Good night, everyone.